while all the raw material in the world is God's creation. Raw material to finish goods is only through human effort, human intelligence, human enterprise, human sweat. As we are getting ready to celebrate January 11th as Entrepreneurship Day, this is my call to all the entrepreneurs. Can we commit ourselves to one of the two or both these principles? One, all the work I do from here on will be my offering to my God. And two, in case you are not a theist, a believer in God, then all the work I do, I will ensure, is of the highest standard that what I do becomes a benchmark to the industry. Whatever I do, I will do it to such highest standard that whatever I do becomes the benchmark in my industry. Let me elaborate a little. Sometime in the past, I went through this thought process. Let me first address those who believe in God. And I'll come to the rest because I want this to be inclusive. And the greatest beneficiary is going to be the larger world by we entrepreneurs committing ourselves to either of these two or both these principles. The flowers are gift of nature or gift of God by whichever way you want to call it. But if they have to become a garland or if they have to become a bouquet, Human effort is involved. Only by what we do, flowers can become a garland or a bouquet. Iron ore and coal is God's creation, nature's gift. But if they have to become steel, human effort is required. It's only by our effort, the raw material can be converted into a finished product. I can give any number of examples. All I'm trying to say is, while all the raw material in the world is God's creation, nature's gift to us, all finished goods, raw material to finish goods is only through human effort, human intelligence, human enterprise, human sweat, human endeavors. Otherwise called as work. So one day, this is personal. What you want to adopt is up to you. But this is personal. But one day I told myself, my Lord, I shall no more pray with words or hymns or rituals. That is something I think everybody can do. But my Lord, because my work is involved, including this communication, the air I am using right now belongs to God, gift of nature. This design of my entire vocal system, which is articulating this air into meaningful communication, I didn't design it. That's also creation of God, gift of nature. But the effort to translate that air into meaningful communication that is happening right now is human effort, my effort. So I told myself one day, I shall not pray to you the way the world prays to you through rituals or words or hymns or bhajans. But my Lord, from now onwards, all the work I do will be my offering unto you. And because it's my offering unto you, here comes the second point. Whatever I do, I will ensure is the very best. There's no place for compromise. There's no place for it's okay. There's no place for justifying lack of excellence. Whatever I do, I will ensure that it is done to the highest standard that is possible, highest level of excellence that can be delivered. Whatever I do, I will develop such level of competence that I deliver nothing but the best. One whatever I do is my offering unto you. And because it's my offering unto you, I will only do the very best. 
And I concluded, if all the work I do is my offering unto you, my Lord, then my very life becomes my prayer unto you. My call to all of you is, as entrepreneurs, even before we lecture it to our team on what they need to do, can we lead them by example where we set such standards as entrepreneurs that whatever work we do, whether it's conducting a meeting or research and development or brainstorming or in your own private space, you're sitting and working out a business model to be implemented. Whatever you do, let's ensure that we only do it to the highest standard that is possible. And if you believe in God, let's do that as a dedication to the creator. Then your very life becomes your prayer. Even if you don't believe in God, I think we owe it to the industry we represent. We owe it to ourselves. Anything that comes from us must be numero uno. The standard for others to benchmark. We cannot be an also ran. Another one in the crowd in whatever we do. We also owe it to our consumers, customers, clients who trust us with their time and money. And I think they deserve the best. Let's be game changers in the industry by just ensuring that we up the game, we raise the bar and we only deliver the very best to the world in whatever we do. Let's revolutionize the standards of what we do, the quality that we deliver. And let's lead our organization by being a living inspiration, a living role model, a leader who walks the talk. And what sort of a world we live in, where whether we are selling product or service or offering experiences to the world, let there be only one standard that we all live up to as entrepreneurs, that we always surpass customer expectations in whatever we do. We surpass, not we want to live up to customer expectations. Very old paradigm. Let's surpass customer expectations. We want to create customer satisfaction. Very old paradigm. Let's become customer crazy. Let's create a delight in the customer. Just doing business with us must become a customer's delight. And if we can, with this aspiration, work as entrepreneurs across the globe, take that as our pledge on Entrepreneurship Day, January 11th. Induce this into the DNA of the culture that we represent as an organization. Not just in your lifetime. For generations to come, that must be the brand identity of whatever brand that we are creating. That we are here to surpass customer expectations. Why? As a mental philosophy, anything I do, I want that to become the benchmark for the industry or for spiritually aligned people. My Lord, all the work I do is my offering unto you. And if all the work I do is my offering unto you, then I shall do nothing but the very best in whatever I do. And my Lord, if all the work I do is my offering unto you, then my very life becomes my prayer unto you. My dear entrepreneurs, let's up the game. Loving you so much. Thank you. I'll speak for a few minutes to the world of entrepreneurs. What are some of the common mistakes that we should avoid?